Welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Today I'm recording so I can uh, hopefully try to capture the first time I ever land on the Mun. So that's what I'm going to be trying to do today. I've never actually done it successfully before. There are plenty of Kerbin shaped holes in the Mun, so hopefully we'll break that record. Um, and I'm not that good at the game, so if uh, you see something I'm doing wrong or I could do better, feel free to tell me. Because um, I know that there's a great community out there for KSP uh, and uh, a lot of great knowledgeable people and I really do want to get better. So if there's anything that uh, I could be doing better, just, you know, feel free to let me know. But anyhow, this is the Launchy McLaunchington 1000. It's uh, seven orange tanks with mainsails on the bottom and an asparagus stock system. The center orange tank is hopefully going to be our transfer stage. Um, then up top we have a small white fuel tank with some RCS. We have four RCS uh, thrusters and then we have also four RCS thrusters on the bottom in case we need a little bit of extra push. Um, battery powered as well as RTG powered. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's try to get there. So we have Bob Hat and Jeff Bin Kerman. So let's throttle up. SAS on, RCS on. Take a look at our resources. And here goes everything. <laughs> This is not quite into space yet, so there we go, our apoaps is in space now. like I may have underestimated the amount of fuel that I need, because we're already on our uh, transfer stage and we're not even in orbit yet. However, I should bank over to the 90. We are in space right now, so we don't need our apoapsis to go higher. In fact, I should probably wait. Wait until we're at where we wait until we're at our apoapsis until we burn. Let's see here. Yeah, our apoapsis is a bit too high, so I think I could have done my initial burn. Maybe I should have started my gravity turn earlier. I don't know. Maybe one of you guys will tell me what I did wrong. Let's see. Let's fast forward. And there we go. And throttle up.
All right, periapsis is in space, so we have an orbit. Hooray! All right. Whoops. Look at that beautiful view. Let's see what it looks like from IVA. Not much by the look of it. Ah, he's got the he's got the good view. Ooh. Pretty. Alright, uh, let's uh, figure out our next transfer burn so we can get into the orbit of the moon. Alright guys, so I made a uh, maneuver node and uh, we should come in contact with the moon. So we need to burn fairly near our per periapsis, so hopefully that should help us conserve fuel. Um, yeah, our periapsis is going to be at uh, 488,000 meters. So we're going to have to do another correction burn and then an orbital burn so we get an orbit and then we'll have to descend down. Hopefully we succeed. All right. All right, guys, we're coming up on our maneuver nodes, so we need to get into position. And uh, I'm going to do a burn pretty quick here. There we go. So we have 753 meters per second of delta V we need to burn. We should have enough in this mainsail to do that. Yeah, I'm not sure if these guys are going to be coming home. I don't know if I have enough fuel for that, but uh, hopefully I can at least land it. That would be awesome. So in about 20 seconds, we're going to light the candle. Whoops. Yeah, they're both freaking out. Too bad I don't have Jebediah. He's on the moon somewhere, in many, many pieces. Unfortunately. Oh, time to burn. Oops, repeat. Yeah, it's overheating. Throttle down a bit. Look at our map. There, stay on target. There we go. I think I overshot it a bit, but we should be fine. In fact, that lowered our periapsis quite a bit, so I don't know if that'll be a good or a bad thing. We'll find out. Alright, we can delete the Nuver node. Alright, I'll see you guys back when, uh, when we're a little bit closer. Alright guys, we're coming up on the Mun, and I put in a correction burn so that uh, we we have a less inclined orbit because right now we're just gonna be on a really weird angle it's gonna be hard to land so we're coming up on that pretty soon and I'll uh, I'll see you guys back in a bit alright guys welcome back um, yeah we're going to do the inclination burn in just a second here and you can see the we're catching up on the moon or rather the moon is catching up on us and then uh, we're going to be pulled into its uh, gravitational influence any second, so... Oops. Uh, I may have overdone it, but it's significantly better than it was. Alright, so the next burn we're going to be doing is at the periapsis so that we get into an orbit. And, um... Yeah, let's just make the maneuver node for that, so we're going to want to burn retrograde. Oops. Kind of hard to see at this distance, but I think that'll do it. We have a periapsis of 16,000. Oh, maybe that's a bit too much. There we go, apoapsis, periapsis. All right, that should be good. Alright, I'll see you guys when it's time for that burn. Time for the burn in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, burn. Alright, actually we had enough fuel, that's great. And 
looks like we got the uh, orbit that we wanted. And then when we're at our apoapsis, we should... There we go. It's going to be challenging because it's going to be dark, but... We should get it. I'll meet, you, meet up with you guys right when we're at our apoapsis. See you in a bit. Ah, uh, jump cuts. Don't you love them? All right, we're going to burn in uh, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1... All right, that should should have done the trick. We should be at an intersect course with the Mon. Indeed we are. And now comes the tricky part that I always seem to screw up. So, so obviously you guys are going to have some tips for me because I'm not that good at it, so feel free to let me know what I'm doing wrong. All right, I'll, uh, I'll catch back with you when uh, we're a little bit closer to the planet. All right, see you in a bit. All right, guys, um, I'm going to try to bleed off a little bit of speed here. We're going pretty quick, and uh, the surface is coming up a tad faster than I'd like, so maybe bleed off a little bit of this speed. should put a landing lights on this. Well, that's mistake number one. Let's get away from that. I don't want to accidentally blow up myself. Well, let's see how quick we can slow down on this, and then we should be able to determine how far away from the surface we need to be before we actually start burning. Decent. I certainly don't need to be burning right now. Alright, I'll uh, be back right after the next jump cut. Alright, we're approaching the surface awful quick, and we're only about uh, 13,000 meters away, so rattle up. Once again, I think I may have overestimated it, but uh, I think I'm just way too paranoid after I've never successfully landed. Jump cut. Okay, landing gear out. Let's see, I think I can see the surface now. Let's slowly descend. I think we're landing in a crater too, so it's going to be a bit challenging. Whether it's a crater or a mountain, I can't go. Right side that landed. Yes. 
yes, yes. Hmm. Lost an ICS tank. Bummer. Well, we did land. That's that's always nice. Oh, sorry there, buddy. Yay! He's happy, and so am I. Hooray! We made it! And our spaceship is dancing. Let's claim this for Kerbin. Site name. Well, we should uh, have a memorial for all those Kerbins who died, so it should be named Kerbin Crater. In honor of all those Kerbins who have made craters here on this mun. Hooray! We did. Stuff. Stuffer. <laughs> I can't type. Alright, well, I made it to the Mun. I'm happy with myself, even though my spacecraft may be sideways. I don't know. If I was able to get it upright again, do you think I'd be able to, uh. think I'd be able to. get it back? I'm not sure. Let's go inside and see how much fuel is left. Mm. Come on, you can do it. Oh. There we go. So do you think I'd be able to make it back with the fuel that I have? I don't know. Well, thanks for watching. I'm happy with myself. We made it to the moon. And there's the flag. Alright, we'll see you guys next time.